What's up everybody? This is the Raw Truth coming at you with a brand new video. And this video is uh, touching base on an article that is taken from the Tuesday, April 5th, 2016 Metro. And um, in this paper is bringing up Freddie, Freddie Gray. And for all y'all know, uh, Freddie Gray uh, who was a young man who was murdered in custody of the police, you know, and um, he was choked and went into a coma and died. But Freddie Gray had a past like crazy. He had arrest, and some of his arrest was assault, but he was a drug dealer. You know, he was one of those thugs, one of those bad boys. And the thing that struck me is it's uh, this article is called Prosecutors in Gray Case Seek Testimony from Another Officer. And you got to understand, when you're looking at a case, because the system is so fucking wicked and shit, you got to look at it what's, and say, what's between the line? It's like when you put up three fingers and you tell somebody to r read in between the fingers... It's giving them the middle finger. In other words, fuck you, motherfucker. You ain't shit, bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? That. But in these stories, you got to read in between the lines so you can see what the fuck is going on. What's really the agenda? You know, this is what I believe. If you have something to say, I want to hear it. But here it is. It says, Maryland prosecutors want to force a second police officer charged in the death of a black detainee to testify against another officer, a court filing made available on Monday said. So, what's happening now, because they're talking to a cop, you know, and um, this cop is under fire, and this cop, you know, you have to understand... They're trying to get to the bottom of this. And they need the other cops to roll on the other cops. They need another cop to testify against another cop. And for anybody to know the reason why they're trying to force it. Is because we all know that it's the blue wall of silence. So if it's a blue wall of silence. What is it saying? It's saying that none of them you know, is forced to say anything. You know because in their you know. Secret safe with me. Secret safe with me. That's where the blue wall silence come from. And it says the order is needed since Officer Garrett Miller is likely to refuse to take the stand because of his right against self incrimination, said the motion, which was filed on Thursday. You know, when you take a stand and you start telling stories, you can implement yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could do it without even knowing. That's why a lot of times, you know, they'll let the clients and stuff uh, not say shit, you know, and defend the case without him or her saying something because any little small slip up can ruin the whole damn case. You know, you if, if say for instance, um. You know, there was a crime that happened at 7-Eleven. Alright, let's just put 7-Eleven. And you were there. And you seen it go down because you was there. And, you know, they, they don't want you to take the stand. Because if you take the stand, there's somebody who was smart at asking questions. Because you have to understand, the court system, when it's like a fucking chess game. Who has the better chess game wins? Not really, it depends on facts or not. Why? Because we see so many of our people going to prisons for crimes that they didn't commit. Somebody has to pay to uh, play the better chess game. So you don't want to say what you observe or, you know, or th was there at 7 Eleven because you might slip up and say, oh, I had a slushy and I just seen blood shown. Well, where did it go? Who, who did it? I don't know. I don't know. But then, you know, that can, you know, that's like could be the snowflake that causes an avalanche. 
and it says Miller and Edward um, Nero arrested Freddie Gray in April 2015 when Gray died from a neck injury suffered in police custody. His death uh, triggered protests and rioting and stoked a U.S. debate on police treatment on minority. So here it is. It caused riots and stuff. You know, and, and and see the thing that you know just funny about this. You know, it's funny, but it's also sad. You dumb motherfuckers, black people, listen to me. Why the fuck would something like that happen and you riot and all of a sudden you want to destroy your own fucking community? You want to steal from your own fucking community? So your rioting is nothing. I don't like when black people riot. Cause you're so fucking stupid. You burn down, you burn down stores in your own fucking community. You sit up there and overturn your neighbor's car. You sit up there and do all fucking damage and shit like that. You lose your goddamn mind whenever y'all fucking riot. Y'all don't even know how to riot. Y'all get so fucking out of control. And it's like when I'm looking at how y'all rioted. Uh, Baltimore and all around when y'all ride it and shit, y'all get so fucking out of control and shit. And I'm looking, I'm like, that's that's in y'all. That was waiting to come out. You just wanted that day just to act a damn fool. So why the fuck riot? It says Miller and Nero. Those are the cops. Uh, Garrett Miller and Edward Nero. Those are the cops. Or among six officers. Facing trial, both have pleaded not guilty to charges of second degree assault, reckless endangerment, and misconduct. So they got six officers. It's among so are among six officers. So there's four more officers. These two make six. So there's four more officers. That's six officers all together. And so you can see, you know, they the real gangsters. They ganged up on him. And it says, um, the motion can't comes after after legal wrangling over pro prosecutors effort to force officer William Porter to testify under limited immunity against the other officers while his own charges were pending. Limited immunity. <laughs> Isn't that something? So, okay, you can get my testimony, but limited immunity. So I won't be prosecuted for this and prosecuted for that. You know what I'm saying? It's like when somebody's hit with the immunity, you know they're going to fucking talk because now you can't do shit to me. You got to honor your fucking word. And it's like you can really get away with murder with immunity. You really can. But he got limited immunity. So what the fuck is that? Partial? I will give you immunity as far as... You won't be charged with this, this, and that. But these two, they're going to stick. And it's probably just the lesser charge. We'll hook you up. Go ahead, Greg. Fucking A, man. Fucking A. We got you, Greg. Hey, Greg, Greg. I can hear it now. Um, It says, Maryland's... Oh, I skipped the, I skipped the book. Okay, uh, under limited immunity against the other officers while his own charges was pending. Porter's manslaughter trial ended in a hung jury in December. Mm. Maryland highest court ruled last month that Porter had to testify, forcing testimonies and a co defendant trial was seen as unprecedented in Maryland. So they're trying to force this shit. Isn't that something? They wanna, they wanna force this shit. They're after, really after these, these testimonies. But you know, why is it that they're attacking the blue wall of silent? Wonder what's the hit agenda. I'm gonna finish this off, then I'm gonna say something, and there will be a part two too, because I wanna go over Freddie Gray and why you know black people, you're dumb as fuck, you're stupid. I'm disgusted at you. The ones, the ones that I know. But I, I, that have viewed my shows, they probably know where I'm about to go on part two. But I want to finish this off. It says defense lawyers have said making Porter testify would allow pr prosecutors to compel other officers to take 
the witness stand. But I think that's bullshit. You know why I think that's bullshit? Because this is what I believe is happening. They're getting cops to roll over on each other just to see, you know, just for everybody to think that we're getting justice and stuff like that. When all... It, I don't think these cops are ever going to do time. And if they ever do time, it's probably what? I, I don't think they're going to do that much time anyway. You know, just thinking about it. You know, I think they're just false flagging this. They're just giving it, uh, you know, pacifying black folks. Telling black folks we're here to make justice and do you justice, you know, and do good to you. And by doing this, you know, we'll, they want... At the at, at in one hand, you know, it's like that Doctor Jekyll, Mister High shit. On one hand, they want us to attack law enforcement. That's why they keep showing video of police brutality. That's why they keep putting it up in our face to get us to go after the officers. But on the other hand, they want us to trust them. They want us to trust them. And when you have a system like that which bounces you to and fro, when you go to and fro and you do that real quick or you turn it like crazy, then you turn the other way like crazy in the circle and you keep doing that, you get dizzy. All of a sudden, you know, you can't walk straight. You can't think straight. And I think they're doing that with us just to test out how much control that they have over us. I think they're very, really, really using this just to see how much control that they have over us not only over us but monitoring our emotions what are we going to do you know well this group of people they acted this way this group of people they acted this way it's all about trying to become all uh everything to all but the agenda is to conquer you you know and i think they're they're doing that you know when you look at all the cases and stuff that cops doing this shit, they always hit with wall of silence and no, maybe a couple of police officers may have came forward, but nothing like this. Six officers? I don't know cases like that. If somebody do, let me know. But six police officers? This is involved? You know, I wonder if it is to pacify the black woman more while the men know what the fuck is going on. It could be that too. I wouldn't put it past these motherfuckers like crazy. Because that's all they do. And that's why, you know, some of these cops are starting to lose their lives. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dig up articles and um, about cops losing their lives and stuff. Because some of, the, some of them are being taken out because some folks are just tired of cops. You know, they just tired tired of them. And the thing about it is... In this case, you know, you know, when I do part two, I'm going to piss a whole lot of folks off. You know, may cost a lot of a lot of subscribers and stuff, but hey, I'm the raw truth. You know, if I want to tickle everybody's ears, I will probably have more than 93 subscribers. I will probably have a few thousand subscribers right now if I want to tickle everybody's ears, but I don't. You know why I don't? Because in order for me to care about my community, I got to tell the truth whether who likes it or not. And I, quite frankly, I don't give a damn if people don't like it or not. You know why? Well, I can't say don't give a damn. I don't give a damn if they if they don't like what I'm saying or not. That's what I would do. What, what, I, what they like what I'm saying or not. Because when you care about somebody... And you see them about to burn. You want to take the, uh, you push them violently, uh, so they won't get caught up in that fire. You see them about to get hit by their car. You push them violently so they can get out the way. Now it's a violent push. They may fail and get scraped up, but it's better than getting run the fuck over. That's the kind of attitude that I have with my community. That's the kind of attitude. So it's not the fact that I don't give a damn about my subscribers or anything. I just don't give a damn of people thinking that I should be dictated how how um I should be dictated by them whenever I'm the raw truth and I got to tell it the way it is cuz my my job my job is to edify my people and I hope everybody will, will receive some edification but you know what when I see the comic boards I only see maybe if just a couple people or 
you know, talk. But I don't see anybody else talk. But then you go to these other videos and it's tickling people's ears. They have a whole lot to say. So either I'm doing my job or, you know, a lot of people ain't that serious as they think that they are. Because <laughs> they're using this. They, they're using this against us. Straight, straight up. They are playing mental and mind games with us. And if, you know, you, you men who there uh, and understand my lingo, understand what I'm talking about, you will, you will begin to see, well, this is what they did again when they came over here. They came over with syphilis, then they came over with a cure. They're coming in through the back door as trying to force cops to testify, but they kind of come through the front door and do and still do the same thing but get, keep you more pacified and they're, I, I'm telling you they're going to use the black woman to try to pacify uh, the, the men even more to be submissive and subservient to the cops instead of rising up but in this case it was warranted and I will be back I'm going to be back with part 2 I'll be back <sighs>